What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Going to be showing off a stream VOD of me today piloting a next format Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX deck, not using any cards that we're going to be losing in rotation on PTCGO. Now, this does not unfortunately include cards from Unified Minds yet, since that's not available on PTCGO, but I think that you'll see that the backbone of the deck is pretty strong. We're going to be showing off some Unified Minds tabletop games on stream on twitch.tv slash tricky gym coming soon. So make sure to check out my Twitch stream and give the channel a follow, twitch.tv slash tricky gym. Let's get right down to it. We're going to rock with Pika Pets 2045 here for another couple games and just see how that feels. See if uh, the order pads are still busted. I think that they probably are. But this definitely feels like the deck that probably loses the least in, uh, in the grand scheme of things just because of the fact that you do have Electromagnetic Radar. I would say also Malamar probably is one of those decks. Malamar and Picaram both just have a lot of options. Unlike this hand, which does not have a lot of options, but no, it's cool. Do what we can. Zeraora, Picaram, we've got Energy Spinner. All right, I mean, with the Thunder Mountain, we're still getting a turn to full blitz, so hopefully that'll help. And we'll go from there. Playing against Zorark. Oh, we're playing against Checkmate deck with our next format deck. Great. That'll be fine. Just just dandy. Um, yeah. I think we just thin the deck one. And uh, your go there, sport. Probably just... Yeah, just gonna, you know, kind of throw that peek around out of nowhere. Now they could go and get the Mew into play. I'm hoping that they just don't have access to the Mew. If they don't have access to the Mew, that would be pretty insane. We would definitely like that. Overlord is here, dude. Overlord is here. Thank you so much, Overlord, for gifting five subs. That's what's up. Let's go, chat. Show Overlord some love in the chat, guys. We got, like, five gifted subs. B-Dove, congrats. You've got a gifted sub as well. That's right. We get to do the tricky song five times. Brock... WMF. Congrats for also getting a sub. All right, I think we're just going for the full blitz here. Thunder Mountain. Ooh, we do have a Lily. That's cool. A Lily. Got Custom Catcher, Order Pad. Uh, I mean, if I order up and hit heads... I can knock out the Tapu Lele, which is kind of insane. Huh. The real question is, do I full blitz to the active or to the bench? I mean, the active is so greedy. Oh, that's insane, right? But, I mean, if they can't find their their duder, then we're in a pretty good spot. Hmm. We're going to full blitz. Question is, active or bench? We could go to the Zero Aura. That's probably fine. Um, to be honest, they're not getting muck out. They could just drop the Mew. They would foil my plans if they did that. So, uh, let's just go, you know, let's live a little bit. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Force him to get that Mew out. You got to get it out this turn. Bro, we coming in hot with the custom catcher play. Let's go. They ain't got it like that. They ain't got it. Let's see what they got. Oh, they just got, <laughs> they got double Zork in their hand. Turn two. 
Oh, but thank you so much for those gifted subs, Overlord. And uh, hopefully you guys all enjoy your new emotes, new sub status, awesome stuff, access to the Tricky Jim Discord channel as well. Welcome aboard. Let's see what they got. I'm loving the custom catchers in Pico Rum. This feels great. I mean, so much power. I can uh, play a supporter and bring up whoever I want. They need to go find that Mew. Oh, they can discard my stadium. That's one thing they can do. We got Lysander Labs, which is cool. No Mew. They ain't got no Mew, and they ain't got no Poivel. This is going to be GG's, bro. GG. Let's go. All right. Uh, I mean, yeah. We're just going to take four prizes. That seems great. Got Lysander Labs. Sure. Might as well play that. We've got the sixth energy. Let's uh, let's order up first and see what we get. Okay. Okay. I see you. Now, we could get Pokecom. I don't really want to get rid of all these custom catchers here, but like that's, to be honest, pretty fine. Let's just, uh, let's just go get the radar, and we're just going to, you know, kind of play this hand out. Got the energy. I don't even need to custom catcher anybody into play. So, do I just wait till next turn? to do that? I might. Yeah. I think I honestly do. They can't get a muck into play next turn. So, I mean, next turn then I could... Oh, I mean, we're saying we'll probably be able to knock out whoever they promote. I will do. I will need a double damage buff in order to do that. We're definitely playing this. Yeah. fine. All right. I think I mean, I could knock out whoever they promote next turn if I just draw enough cards. The thing, the reason I'm not saving the custom catchers is because I want to I want to have an opportunity to find my Tapu Coco and things like that. So we're going to really go in here and see what we can do. There's a Zapdos and an E-Power. That's fine. We're down all of our custom catchers, though. But I'm looking for, like, Tapu Coco. That's really just who we want to try and finish the game off. Because we'll need energy. This thing is going down. And we will need energy on board to make it happen. So let's Zapdos isn't going to be our dude. Let's just go in here. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, judge whistle. Let's draw some cards. There's lightning. Cynthia. And uh, there, there's another E power. And we'll poke -com this thing away. Get ourselves that thing. And now we get to dance the ancients. So what did I do? I got no energy in the discard pile. Oh, I was like, oh no, did I did I mess that up? No, I didn't mess that up. All right. I do have E-Power Energy Switch in my hand, though, so we're just going to tag Bolt GX, and we're going to knock out that thing. Go to one prize remaining. That's cool. Sure. That was pretty good. I thought that maybe they had, like, muck out. I was like, why can't he do it? I forgot that I had literally no, no lightning in the discard pile yet. That's pretty good. One prize remaining. We don't have any other energy on board yet, but I do have a pretty big hand and some very aggressive draw ahead. So we're smooth over Judge Whistle Engine. Oh my gosh, Kool-Aid with all the hot takes this morning. Um, I could have taken care of the Meowth instead of the Lele. I wanted to force them to where they couldn't put up Dugong. I don't know if that makes a difference. It does make a difference because they could, like, Dugong this for 90 with the Choice Band, right? Which would have been kind of nasty. 
if they did that. Um, and since I didn't have any, since I don't have any custom catchers yet uh, left, I wanted to make sure that no matter who they promote, all I have to do is take a KO for game. It's kind of what I was, uh, what I was thinking. And yes, Telly, this is some world's Pikaram action right here. No Guzmas, no Ultra Balls, none of that, none of that stuff. Now, ideally, we would be playing Raichu and Raichu Tag Team GX and Mewtwo and Mewtwo Tag Team GX or Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX. Night Mystic. Ah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I don't really know. Weezing. Weezing feels kind of bad because Weezing is dead next format and also just not my favorite deck to play. A lot of different reasons that I don't want to play Weezing. But I'm sorry. If you're a big Weezing fan, I feel you. It's all good. We got Zero Aura here. All right, we need to find out how we're going to knock out this Persian. So let's, uh, let's get this party started. Three prizes remaining. Uh, we're going to Dance of the Ancients here. Get some energy located in the appropriate spots. Uh, we've already used our GX attack. That's fine. We go here. Get an energy switch up. We need to find one more energy switch. Got three in the deck. It's pretty cool. So first things first, I probably want to, I'm gonna play my E-Power. I'm gonna play my energy switch. I think we, yeah, we energy switch to the active. He's dealing 160. We only need two buffs. So we do that. We're gonna play the E-Power. We're not judging this turn, that's for sure. We're probably gonna Radar. We're gonna Radar away probably the Judge and the Cynthia. Get Dedene and Pikaram. Looking for my final E-Power. I got one in deck and a couple order pads, so pretty decent shot at finding it. All right, we're gonna get these guys. Judge Whistle to draw a card. Another Cynthia, huh? It's cool. We're gonna Pokecom away this Picaram and fail it. And then I think we Lily. We got the energy. Oh yeah, I forgot I also need that energy switch. Oh yeah, yeah, I need that thing. Cool. Um, and we're gonna Radar again. 12 cards left in deck. I ho Silva. Hooray! Let's go. GG's. That's right. Get in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. 220 damage with the Zero Aura for game. We got there, chat. We got there. Three to Dene with next format Pikaram against the current format Zorark deck. That's what I'm talking about. Now, unfor now, fortunately, we didn't have to weather any sort of, uh, you know, weird plays there with Dugong or anything like that. But it is kind of funny that their deck actually, you know, the Dugong plays aren't as good against Pikaram when I'm not playing uh, Marshadow, right? Because I'm never going to put Marshadow down because I don't play it. So the Dugong like will never be able to set up knockouts on a Marshadow. All I have are these big Pokemon, right? Which is uh, kind of hysterical. So this is going to be my last game this morning. Then I actually have to watch the front here at Full Grip. Thank you guys all for hanging out, for the gifted subs, for the people who have renewed their subs, for everybody who might be joining us for the first time. Make sure to give the channel a follow. Uh, I am moving on towards 5,000 followers here, so very close to that goal. Thank you guys all for helping in my uh, in my journey towards 5K followers. Also, thank you guys for checking out FullGripGames.com. We've got codes for sale on FullGripGames.com as well as singles and pre-orders for Unified Minds booster boxes if you want to check those out. 
Big shout out to the mods as well. Thank you guys for helping moderate this morning. Saw Natalie in the chat. She's here working at Full Grip as well. So thank you, Natalie, for being awesome. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this match goes against Fear Tomb Umbreon here. Energy Evolution Eevee gonna be gone. But this has been fun. It's been fun trying out next format decks. You know, they're kind of bad. And it feels pretty insane winning a game with it. So definitely into it. I think Picaram definitely still, uh, still a top deck next format for sure. I'll get into some Malamar stuff on Thursday, and we can show off some next format Malamar business and see what we got. Oh, no, not all three custom catchers in my opening hand. Then we got Zapdos. We got Tapu Koko Prism Star. Bless. All right. We're just going to go in here, and uh, I could double custom catch or something up. We could just, just go and try and knock something out. Probably the Mew, to be honest. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, give me that give me that guy. And yeah, we're gonna try and knock him out, turn one. Lily for six. Okay. Okay, chat. That's what I'm talking about. This deck's insane. Alright. So with the magnetic radar, we get to discard a couple of lightnings. We're gonna see if we get order pad. I could get a turn one full blitz. I mm. Could get a turn one full blitz. Ah, no. We have to hit one more. Yeah, I think we're going to radar away both these lightnings for sure. We're getting a Dedenne and that. Now, I do have the turn one attack with um, Zapdos guaranteed. So that's like a, no, we know we got that. So I'm just going to dance with the Ancients here. Get those. Energy switch once up to the Picaram. And then we're going to custom catcher fill our hand again. Busted deck. And then day day change. All right, so we got the turn one full blitz. Next format. Um, Sure. Let's just do it. And I don't know. I'm just going to be super degenerate and throw all my energy on the active and see, you know, what they do. There we go. KO the Mew. We got turn one custom catcher full blitz. <laughs> that's pretty insane. Oh, that's pretty crazy. Definitely digging that. Um, now, hopefully they don't play like Umbreon or something. Or not Umbreon. Uh, hopefully they don't play Hoopa. That would be kind of hectic if they do. And we're hoping that we can kind of just run them off the table here. They're looking for a supporter with that Poke Gear. Hopefully they miss. They got Judge. Fine with that. I too play Judge. Look at me go. Judge, they need a Darkness Energy bad. Or we're just going to skadoosh. Tag Bolt this dude. And that's going to be it. He's got Ultra Ball. Okay. Maybe going for a Let Loose Stellar Wish. Okay. That's fine. I'm thinking that they missed the... Yes, they did miss the Dark. So they're retreating into Jirachi. They have to find a Rescue Stretcher in order to not get Tag Bolted this turn for two prizes. And they got Cynthia. So we are in there with our Tag Bolt GX. Taking two knockouts here. Definitely going to be targeting down that Spirit Tomb with the Hustle Belts, uh, as well as potentially the Umbreon. Because, oh, no, I guess we're just taking out the Jirachi. So they just have Cynthia. That's it. I could save the Judge Whistle in my deck. Probably feels good. I don't think that I too much need these Electro Powers. So I'll play that. A little Order Pad. Just kind of thin the deck a little bit. And it's just Cynthia. We've already got the Tag Bolts guaranteed. Lysander Labs is going to be good too, probably for like next turn. And yeah, let's just, uh, I'm going to save the rest of the resources in my hand to kind of be responsive to like what they do. But I'm going to take a double prize knockout. Picaram out here. Housing. I mean, goodness gracious. Mew still really does uh, kind of hamper the effectiveness of Tag Bolt. I mean, we do have to 
worry about that. But next format, we lose Rescue Stretcher, right? So without Rescue Stretcher, right, in the format, that means that Mew is much like, less likely to come back. What's up, Myri005? Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome aboard, Tricky Jim. But uh, like I was saying, without Rescue Stretcher in format, when you knock out the Mew, it's going to be much more likely that the Mew just stays down, right? So that's going to open up the doors to be able to pull off more Tag Bolt plays than we previously were. We do have an Electro Power in our hand. That's cool. We got Energy Switch as well. It's time to Energy Switch this stuff off of our Picaram now that he has kind of done his job here. Um, don't really need to use radar. We'll judge whistle, draw a card. Let's see, we got another Picaram. I mean, the Picaroms are kind of a liability in this matchup, so I'm not really trying to put those down. Play the Electro Power just in case I need to attack with Zapdos here. And then we are just going to I mean, Lysander Labs could be good. Probably just play that. Cynthia. Looking for an energy. That's good. We got Judge Whistle as well. So we could just take this knockout. I guess Zapdos is probably the best, best attacker to use. Because it's not giving up GX or anything like that. So I'll just Thunder Salt. Save these cards in my hand. Uh, I could Electromagnetic Radar, Custom Catcher, get a more aggressive draw here. And we're seeing that this uh, this version of the deck with like all these radars and judge whistles and all that, it's like pretty aggressive. And the order pads, I mean, we really get to play uh, a lot of our deck down. Now, something that I do think could be good is uh, we get to keep Resource Management Orangaroo, right? I think that one copy of Resource Management Orangaroo in this deck would also be very good because you could get to game states where maybe you just need some custom catchers to win the game or you just need a few more electro powers to win the game as well. And I think one resource management Orangaroo in the deck, I mean, Zero Aura gives you free retreat. You could just throw up the resource management Orangaroo, throw some things into the bottom of your deck, and then uh, and then Dedede into those cards to potentially win the game. I think that that is probably where we're headed. I don't think that you need to play the Jirachi engine in this deck. Uh, I think that a more aggressive draw version of the deck is is better just because, um, you know, just draw, I mean, the electromagnetic radar engine is just insane. Still keeping our Thunder Mountain Prism Star, which is excellent. We can just get rid of these. I don't think that I'll need any of those. Uh, we got a Dedene left in the deck. It's fine. We can just go grab it just in case we want it. And then Electro Power. All right, we'll Judge Whistle. Let's see what we get there. Another radar. We've seen we're getting way more radars than we even need here. But that's fine. Yep, we should just be in the clear. We've got win more or less on board here. We just have to continue attacking. So I'll just attach my energy to the active, and that way we have, you know, knockout on whoever my opponent promotes with our remaining two attackers. They can't possibly knock out all my guys in these final two turns. And that is going to be it. This version of the list is feeling very good. I mean, we have access to our entire deck pretty much the whole game the only thing that does feel kind of bad is that you know you use the custom catchers as a one-off you probably get to custom catcher once and then you probably use the other two just to continue drawing cards the draw engine does feel very aggressive which i like you know between custom catchers radars pokecoms i feel like i have options to go get to dene and just like ham my deck out throughout the entire game which is pretty insane I think we might just need to throw a resource management or Rangaroo in here. Uh, and it acts as a you know kind of valid inclusion in the deck for multiple reasons. Not only can we go get more custom catchers to pull off a game-winning custom catcher play, we could also get 
more electro powers. Maybe if we kind of ran out of firepower, since we don't have choice band anymore, you can go get some more of those. But you can also go get more Lysander labs. Say you're playing against like a Shadinju deck or something like that. You could just throw your resource management or Rangaroo into the active position and just Lysander labs. So we've got that. That's going to be GG's full blitz for game. Well played opponents. And we got there. Back to back wins with uh, Picaram feeling pretty good. I'll show off the list here real quick so we can take a look at that. But thank you guys all for hanging out for the stream this morning. Uh, make sure to check out fullgripgames.com. Give the channel a follow as well so that we can reach our goal of hitting 5,000 followers. And I'm probably going to up you know, upload this bit to YouTube as well. So if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to head on over to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash tricky gym, where I stream every single weekday. You can find the schedule in the blocks below the stream. So this is it. Uh, my first list for next format. Picaram, obviously not including any sort of Mew and Mewtwo tag team GX or, um, or Raichu. Uh, and Raichu Tag Team GX or Cherish Ball because those cards are all in Unified Minds. So those might be cards that we're looking at here. I, I'm experimenting with the Judge Whistle stuff because I think that Hand Disruption is just really good. So I kind of wanted an option to be able to basically simulate Let Loose without playing Let Loose. And that's why we got the Judge Whistles and the Judge in there. It's not bad. So Give it a try. Let me know what you think. I think with Raichu and Raichu and Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX, we uh, we definitely got a lot of well-rounded options in this list. So thank you guys all for watching the stream. Big shout out to the subs, people who donated bits, and the moderators today. Everybody who's followed the channel, you guys rock. Have a great day. I'll catch you tomorrow for the Full Grip Games League Tournament. Peace.